Welcome to National Focus. I'm Jana Hector. Coming up, the Ministry of Education launches a parenting program at the Godwell Primary School. A free eye care program is coming soon for Dominicans, and consultations continue for the national land use policy. Stay with us for details of these and other stories after this. Thanks for staying with us. On Wednesday, the governments of Venezuela and Dominica formalized an agreement to bring a free eye care mission to Dominica. His Excellency, the Ambassador of Venezuela to Dominica, Hayden Pirella Sanchez, and the island's Honorable Health Minister, Dr. Kenneth Daru, signed the agreement in the presence of Venezuelan, Cuban, and local witnesses. Dominica is the newest addition to a list of regional islands which have benefited from the Miracle Mission. The service was formed by Cuba and Venezuela more than 10 years ago. This is why His Excellency Juan Carlos Frameta de la Rosa was among witnesses to the occasion. Venezuelan Ambassador Sanchez opted to address the nation in English since, according to him, he wants the Dominican people to understand what this great humanitarian mission means. Today, we are to begin a great humanitarian mission, Mission Milagros. This mission has been going on in other Iceland in the Caribbean with great success. St. Vincent, Grenada, St. Kit, Antigua, and now Dominica. It is important to say that the intention of the mission is not to invade the private medical sector. Our only intention is humanitarian, to help persons who are less fortunate. We will always respect the work of the local doctor. That respect, he says, extends to the people, government, and sovereignty of Dominica. Ambassador Sanchez publicly voiced his support of Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro, saying that he continues to reach out to the less fortunate as the deceased President Hugo Chavez wanted. The Honorable Health Minister Dr. Kenneth Daru signed on Dominica's behalf. He says Dominica welcomes the mission as another instrument of cooperation. It was indeed a great day when these two presidents in July of 2004 created the marvel now known as Mission Milagro or Miracle Eye, and one year later in Sandino, Pina del Rio, Cuba, where a target of six million surgical interventions was set, totally free of charge, to alleviate the problems caused by cataracts and pterygiums in the populations of Latin America and the Caribbean. Today, more than 10 years after that bold decision, we in Dominica continue to see the hand of friendship and regional integration and cooperation extended willingly and unconditionally as we strive together to promote and foster the well-being of our societies. Dr. Dow revealed that this agreement was scheduled to be signed since last September and meantime Venezuelan doctors have been standing by. He outlined the next steps for the fruition of this IKEA project. Over the next several months, we intend to identify Dominican patients suffering ophthalmologic pathologies such as cataracts and pterygiums who continue to overwhelm our own very hardworking and dedicated ophthalmology staff. And under the principles of solidarity, equality and mutual respect, this person has been screened and fully assessed to have this person sorry, screened and fully assessed. This screening will be done at several strategic locations across the island allowing equal opportunity for voluntary access. Once the need for surgical intervention has been established, the full preoperative testing will be conducted and all qualifying patients will have access to preoperative evaluation and later surgery, most of which will occur right here in Dominica with the help of highly trained and competent teams of ophthalmologists from Venezuela. Ambassador Sanchez reveals that more than 4 million people from Latin America and the Caribbean have benefited from the Miracle Mission since its establishment. The Ministry of Education launched a Let's Talk Parenting program at the Goodwill Primary School on Tuesday. This program comes as the Ministry celebrates Health and Family Life Education Week this week until the 30th. For the third year, the theme for HFLE Week is Bullying and Its Negative Effects. Rena John Charles is the Education Officer for Health and Family Life Education. Bullying 
is a very serious issue affecting our schools and communities. It can cause physical and emotional harm to our children. The ministry's decision to maintain this theme is a necessary and positive one. We recognize the seriousness of bullying in our schools and in our communities and the need to effect changes. John Charles says the Ministry of Education will continue to raise awareness about bullying and its effects in schools across the island. Anti-bullying campaigns have been launched in almost every primary school in Dominica. The parenting program Let's Talk Parenting goes one step further as it allows the Ministry of Education to work with parents to improve their children's behavior. The Let's Talk Parenting program emerged from the meetings with different with parents sorry, in different schools and other interaction with parents over the last three years while running our anti-bullying campaign. There was a realization that parents had a lot to say about many issues including bullying and needed an avenue to express their views in a meaningful and productive way. So in, a, in that sense, the program will be supportive and will provide parents with an outlet. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Marcella Powell, says the launching of the program will be beneficial to all parties, parents, students, and the schools. She says the ministry's aim is to help parents with the challenges that they may face in raising their children. There is always room within the education system to involve parents in their children's learning. This parenting program is about working with our parents to help them cope with present and future difficulties, always keeping the well-being of their child at the center. The idea is that by working with parents to respond to their children's needs, we can help them understand their personal, social, and emotional growth, as well as their physical and creative development. The business of preparing safe food for sale is something which the Environmental Health Department takes very seriously year-round. This is why persons who work in that industry must be certified by the unit with a food handler's permit. According to Environmental Health Officer Zilma Charles, the Department of Environmental Health is mandated to provide this service to the public at a nominal cost of just $20. The food hygiene regulation stipulates that anybody who offers food for sale should be certified by the Environmental Health Department. The certification entails two different processes. You have to do what we call a food handler education session and you also have to do your medical. So you have to visit your medical practitioner, whether it's a family nurse practitioner or a medical doctor to get certification from these people. What we really want to know is at the time that you're visiting the medical practitioner that you're in a good state of health. She went on to describe the classes and topics which are covered in this brief but comprehensive training. We've separated our education into two different groups. We're doing first-timers and we're also doing renewals. So at our first-timer session, we start with the very basics. We talk about um, bacteria, we talk about different types of organisms that can really cause food to get bad. We talk about... Um, food safety in general, we talk about clean and sanitizing, we talk about the five keys if you want to call it that. So we look at cleaning, we look at sanitizing, we look at um, water, the use of water. We also look at the food handler itself and personal hygiene, which is a key component. Since the permit is only valid for one year, food handlers are required to attend a refresher class to qualify for renewal. At our renewal session, we've started something new where we're doing a mix of videos and discussions because we find that we need to show. We've talked a lot and we've discussed a lot, but adding the video component to it actually assists people to see exactly what we're talking about and um, really to stimulate their interest and to find out, okay, are you really doing the things that we're asking you to do? This is how we expect it to be done. And then we hope that they go back into their establishments and prepare safe food, especially the offering the food for sale. Here's an excerpt from a renewal class which took place on Tuesday. When you maintain your property, you're going to have a kitchen that is going to be fully functional for a longer time. You don't want to have a wall and behind of your stove greasy, and that too can catch fire. Eh? Mm -hmm. 
is a fire hazard when you have that buildup of grease on your wall. So you can do two things. You can use the oven degreasers that you use to clean the oven. You spray it, allow it to soak in, and then you take a cloth with bleach and you wipe out. Or you can also use hot water. But you have to use the hot water immediately after you finish cooking. So that is why if you're in an establishment, you need to designate a cleaner. So if you know your job is to clean, at the end of the operation, you clean everywhere. Michelle Dura is a chef by trade. He has been attending these trainings for close to 40 years. I think it's very important that we, the food handlers, to um, exercise this kind of action in order to keep the public safe. He believes that the information sharing is necessary in such an important industry. GIS News asked whether the session seemed tedious or unnecessary at any time. It feels like that sometimes, but then um, at the end of the day, sometimes you find a little different. Like for instance, today I learned um, a few things that I did not learn before. Oliver Xavier is also in the food service industry. Since 2009, he has been regularly attending these classes. We learned today about the, um, the, the different oils that we um, use. Sometimes it's are people which um, use the same oil, they fry chicken, they fry bakes, they fry fries, which is unhealthy to some of us that eat outside, and which could have also be contaminated to um, give us some um, food poisoning. His advice to service providers is stern. It's very important for the public. It's very important for you know a lot of people out there that is, um, do have time to prepare a meal and go out and um, eat in restaurants. It's very important to them. The food handler permit is a must for those who work at restaurants, street vendors, those who package food at home for sale, manufacturers, bottlers, often domestic workers, and anybody who comes into contact with food that is meant to be sold. Those stipulations are outlined in the Environmental Health Act. You're watching National Focus. More when we return. Protection from abuse is every child's right. Everyone has a shared responsibility in protecting the child from abuse. Mothers, believe your children when they say they've been abused and follow through with child abuse cases when they've been reported. For more information on child abuse or to report suspected cases on child abuse, contact the Social Welfare Division on 33 Great Marlboro Street or call 266-3020 or 266-3080. Welcome back. The use of cameras is expected to act as deterrence to significantly reduce the number of indiscriminate litterbugs in the city of Roseau. This is according to Public Relations Officer of the Dominica Solid Waste Management Corporation, Jeno Jacobs. Jacobs was speaking at a press conference last week. We're tired of talking, we have monitoring officers, we apply through Ruzo, we apply for the villages, for the country, trying to capture people who, who, who dispose of garbage illegally in the pristine environment. But we are of the opinion that if we go high tech, if we, if, we, if we employ cameras and place them in strategic locations, starting with the convent high school, so, um, placing the cameras in areas where they can capture um, areas or hotspots, as we call them, of littering, we will be able to take those people to court before the courts and um, ticket them, charge them, and then our, our intention is finally to place them on the media. You know, whether it's on the Chronicle or, 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 or have a news item on mapping or, or even on Facebook to let, to, I mean, if you expose you, you know, to that illegal act for the face of environment, for us it will, it will send a message, it will send a, a rippling message across to the, to the wider public. Jacob says litter elimination will significantly improve the health of the entire country. For us, a healthy citizenry is an important citizenry. I mean, if we can keep our people healthy, that means our developmental process will continue. Our, our people won't be sick and government won't spend excess money at hospital trying to, to send people to Martinique or wherever to get treatment. We must ensure that our people are healthy. And Mr. Scotland rightfully mentioned a number of, of, of diseases like Zika, which is now not on our shores yet, but on the horizon. Just heard the news on CNN this morning at Brazil and a number of thousands of people coming down with Zika virus. Babies are being born 
and deformed pregnant women are, are at risk. So we cannot afford to get that disease or allow that disease to come in Dominica. We must prevent those harborage, you know, the, 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 the tins, the plastics, the bottles, the, 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 the styrofoams, the, 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 the white goods, the stoves, and so forth, the dairy <coughs> vehicles. We must remove this from the environment. And the ways we can remove them from the environment is continue to educate our publics. There are three important components for solid waste, that of collection, education, and enforcement. And those three components must work together, and we will make it work together. But we must capture the small percentage of people who continue to deface the environment. And Mayor of the city of Roseau, Her Worship Irene John, has taken a leading role in the drive to clean up the island. I am appealing to citizens of Roseau and in Dominica at large to please dispose of their garbage in a proper manner and a responsible manner and do not put out garbage <coughs> at the time that is convenient to them. They must put out the garbage at the time that is set for the collection of the garbage. And please avoid dumping all these bottles in the gutters because that is going to have a serious health um, effect on us if we do not take heed. As consultations continue for the development of a national physical development plan for Dominica, the Honorable Minister for Planning, Economic Development and Investment, Dr. John Colin McIntyre, addressed a group comprising bankers, insurers, architects, engineers, surveyors and real estate agents on Wednesday. The National Physical Development Plan will provide government with a comprehensive planning framework for informed decision making and effective coordination of development programs and projects. Donor agencies and financial institutions will be guided by a comprehensive spatial development strategy, project profiles, and an implementation plan. Investors and developers will gain an increased level of confidence from the development plan to make strategic land use and investment decisions. The plan will assist us to effectively manage and protect the integrity of biodiversity and natural resources. Tropical Stomach Erica demonstrated the importance of protecting and managing our rivers and forests. The NPDP will assist to effectively balance development rights with sustainable objectives. This is particularly important where prime agriculture lands and environmentally sensitive areas are privately owned or land is commonly owned as in the case of the Kalingo people in the Kalingo territory. The environment and the tourism sector, social sustainability and investment are the overarching factors to be considered as stakeholders contribute to this plan. A number of other factors such as climate change resilience will also be considered. Most importantly, as we've already heard, uh, Tropical Storm Erica certainly has uh, uh, given us a strong focus on climate change resiliency. It has uh, been a very strong reminder of the risks that we face. And what I know we can do better, uh, and what I think every Dominican knows uh, after Tropical Storm Erica, is that if we can make some better decisions about where we invest in housing, uh, infrastructure, and other things, that we can do a better job of protecting property, investment, uh, and human life. And if we can do a better job of that in the next 20 years, then I think we will have succeeded in helping the country move forward. Senior Project Coordinator Annie Edwards explains that the need for a physical development plan arose from the conflict in the use of lands as Dominica transitioned from an agriculture-based economy to tourism. The Ministry of Agriculture was concerned about that. The planning department was concerned. The tourism department was also very concerned because we had cases where, for instance, you know, you'd have a pig farm close to growing and um, being located close to an uh, tourism development and although the pig farm might have been there before the pressure would be for the pig farm to move so these kind of conflicting is issues were emerging as Dominica was transitioning from a uh, agricultural industry um, based e economy to a more service especially based on tourism Today, January 27th, was the final day of consultations. Other groups, including Reconstruction and Resettlement Committees, the General Public in Portsmouth, Marigot and Roseau were met. The National Physical Development Plan could be forwarded to Cabinet by May 2016. And that's the English News. Next is Creole Highlights with Marcuson St. Louis. Hello, tout le monde. Bienvenue à ces nouvelles en Creole. Non moins, c'est McPherson St. Louis. Premièrement, ministre planning a une série de consultations sur un plan policier 
que le gouvernement comment un pays à se poser servir ça ou que l'andios policy plan ça là qui tape pour voir au cabinet qu'a voie consultation yondio changeonia ministre planning honorable dr john colin mcintyre a dû se consultation changeonia eh bien, je dis ça, nous avons fait un bon bitin pour Dominique. Avec une année qui passe, ça c'est une année 2015 à le mois de mai, nous avons passé un, nous avons passé un policier en cabinet. Nous avons fait un policier et puis nous avons passé un cabinet. Comme si nous avons développé un plan, un national development plan pour Dominique. Avec comment nous avons servi terre Dominique, tout Dominique. Nous avons Dominique, c'est un pays qui est bien, belle, mais tout belle est belle là. C'est un gros challenge pour nous tous, parce que là, il y a là, l'application de l'application de descend vite et fait qu'on a gagné un lave tout le monde à la pavlée. Non, je dis à nous pas de ça à un tropical storm America de Kavini, nous pas de ça à Saint-Pierre, mais le gouvernement, dans ce domaine, le domaine de l'Evapati, ça c'est le gouvernement, nous t'es qu'à cacher, comme je dis, nous avons besoin d'un plan, un plan qui est bien neuf, un plan qui est bien moderne, un plan qui a gardé le climate change, sous tout ça qui a fait, ou on l'a tiré tellement, un plan qui a gardé le cyclone, tout ce qui a été fait, ça, flood, tout ce qui a été fait, ça. Et bien, nous disons, nous avons caché le cabinet, dans ce gouvernement, si nous n'avons pas fait un bité, un bon bail pour Dominique. Et bien, nous passons par les ça. Comme si les policiers, nous supposons que quelqu'un qui va nous donner pour nous attuer à dans n'importe place, n'importe qualité de plan pour Dominique. Pour lever, comment nous allons mettre, où là nous allons mettre um, um, Kai, industrie, comment nous allons servir de pour um, recreation, comment nous allons garder notre heritage et culture pour préserver, comment nous allons garder notre environnement, culture, um, processing, agriculture, tourism, tout ce qu'il y a de base. Selon le ministre McIntyre, la police est formulée par Dominique même. Non, Dominique, c'est un bel pays, mais je dit déjà, mais nous, il faut regarder où là, nous avons fait ça. Avec Kuna, comment nous avons fait ça, nous avons fait ça, tout travail ensemble. Avec ce plan, ça, nous, c'est le monde Dominique qui est là, comme c'est déjà, c'est le monde qui a sauvé, le monde qui a sorti de la banque, le monde qui a sorti de l'architecte qui a fait plan pour Kai, builders, tout le monde qui a fait ce bail ça. Nous, nous, nous menons aujourd'hui, ça c'est Dominique. Avec Yokai, Yokai, Am am masih ada on plan, kom sedi. Yo saya dom ni cer, yo sah sah nu buzwe. Evek yo sah sah yo dekat fe, evek sah nu ni pu fe. So nu ni call consultant, tanya project hot CB, and Dylan consult consultant am la. Am madam am 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 physical planning sah se. Am madam am am Edwards la am Ozi am. And then Nuni, um, um, Miss Greg Walla, avec ceci qui local consultant là, qui a fait ces bails ça. Avec ça nous qu'il fait non, nous qu'il ouvre un jeu en plan pour comment nous ça servir très dominique, avec dom, en tout 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 dominique pour faire un premier bail qui sustainable, qui environmentally friendly pour nous lever pays ça. Alors nouvelle projet chez mes magua en belle chopin qui est bien nécessaire pas un et pour mon village là, mais spécialement que gouvernement qui a mis mise en place pour oui allocation monti savane qui affecte par culture erika qui qui tape oui allocation en communauté là parole ça là sorti au même parlement honorable docteur Kenneth Daru qu'on travaille qu'à continuer à ces projets chez là mon quoi que un peu de ça time lui aussi parce que nous tous savent que qui a dans moi moi qui a venu c'est moi qui a venu que nous allons commencer un resettlement un petit savane à à Belvi Chopin et nous avons parlé de plus de 1 000 personnes, 9 cabinets dans le village. Ce mot est très important pour être très important pour 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 assurer que 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 tout que tout bagage en place pour pile le monde ça qui va venir et et comment parler mal comment des mots mot contre et ben mot mot proud que que nous kawé que même si Eric a passé et et nous et tout tête nous plein et qu'à faire qu'à manger place qui damage que nous ça continue et ces petits projets comme ça petits projets mais petits projets qui gagnent co impact dans la vie de ce monde parce que assez longtemps ce monde est ce qui souffre de mauvais chemin en fait dans ma passion le monde qui a vécu plus en haut parce que aller aller voir des que pas voir des yo 
en bas elle a marché monter ça c'est un bon relief elle a mon cas espéré elle a elle a mon voulait me dire c'est mon qui mon cas espéré elle a mon qui continue à bloquer pour comment nous ça continuer taper ti prochain l'argent juste en nous finir projet là because and estimate and estimate moi mon cas peut-être en lot de de mes de ça de 100000 dollars qui 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 continuer à qui qui fin qui fini projet là mais que continue à bloquer pour pour l'argent ça juste un projet projet là fini Une nouvelle avec a concerné virus Zika qui a concerné le département santé environ spécialement qu'on nous en saison mars et puis mon l'autre pays que venait Dominique par haut des affaires report qui plus que 18 pays latin America et puis Caraïbes déjà confirmé que ce virus là comme Martinique, Puerto Rico, Haïti, Barbade et puis ce matin quand même si l'on officier département santé environ Clara Charles Département là qu'a travaillé et puis National Pest and Termite Control qu'a mis mis en place pour minimiser maladie là affecter Dominique et aussi qu'a créé à ce public là pour mettre mis en place pour tenir et vous ayez bien propre pour empêcher maladie là l'année passée c'est l'année 2015 Dominique pour qu'on reporte pesquise virus ça là et puis finalement chairman board actuel et puis representative Dominique Julius Timothy Que a visé ministre des Télécoms honorable Kelvin Darum à ce programme Excel. Par où cela sortit au ministre des Télécoms honorable Kelvin Darum. Timothy électé comme chairman board Excel par le grand meeting Excel qui est chaîne en Dominique semaine passée. Oui et puis Monsieur Timothy il il a mené un wealth of knowledge et puis expérience pour board cela. Um, ça c'est une un, un opportunité pour Monsieur Timothy. Um, Ba ministre la ad advice, ça qu'a fait hot Excel, ça qu'a fait hot hot telecommunication sector là. Et puis nous tous connaît Mr. Timothy. Il était il il c'était un ministre au gouvernement. Il il c'est un businessman et tout bagage ça là. Et puis il 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 a fit in hot 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 bot ça là. Moi je dis merci pour monsieur Monro. Puis il 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 était sur bot là et puis diligence et puis il fait un bon job hot hot Excel board. Et puis actuellement, tant tant là, il est sauvé, il finit. Et puis nous 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 car replace Monsieur Mono et puis Monsieur Timothy. Donc moi moi car welcome Monsieur Timothy et puis il qui fait un bon job. Monsieur Madame, ça c'est tout pour nouvelle en quoi pour à présent. Non moi c'est Mac Fossil Salos. Au revoir. Coming up next, how to improve the quality of your life. The first step toward improving the quality of your life is to be present. This is the here and now. Stop pondering the past or worrying about the future for a moment. Tell the voices in your head to be silent and enjoy your ability to create your own experience. Enjoy every day as it comes. That's worth practicing every day. That's all for this edition of National Focus. We always welcome your suggestions and comments. Drop us an email at gis at dominica.gov.dm or visit our website news.gov.dm. Like our Facebook page facebook.com slash gisnewsdominica and follow our Twitter at gisdominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here in the GIS News Desk, I'm Jana Hector. Thanks for watching and join us again next time on National Focus.